a second. Hi everybody, it's Caitlin, and today's Zoo to You is brought to you by the U Fund College Investing Plan and MIFA, and we are back at the barnyard. Uh, we are going to be seeing some of our goats in just a minute. Um, zookeeper Megan, who helped us with our last uh, live in the barnyard, is going to be letting them out. And we have a nice Thanksgiving uh, feast set up for them today because we are uh, coming up on Thanksgiving and giving our animals some special Thanksgiving enrichment. And we wanted to share that with you this morning. So we have four friends that are going to come out in just a minute. And we're really excited to see how they, uh, what they come out and get out here. We have some special treats and we'll talk about what we have and what the goats get to eat and this uh, individual goats that come out. All right, so here they come. So this first one, oh, <laughs> this one right in front of the camera is Flopsy. Hi, Flopsy. Are you gonna go get some, some food? And then these two, oh, Flopsy's digging right into the bag. <laughs> and right here, this um, multicolored one, this is, is Callie. And then we also have um, over here <laughs> is Chewbacca and coming strolling in <laughs> right in front of the camera there is Leia. So some of you might remember that we do have um, so a Star Wars theme that goes on uh, with Leia's uh, goats, baby goats that she's had. Um, so we have Chewbacca, we also have Vader, and then we have uh, Foles, which was more of a football theme <laughs> a little while ago. But what they're getting in these bags is there is some hay. Well, we also have uh, some sweet potato, which I don't know if you can see right in the, in the pumpkin there. Oh, Kelly's getting some right now. Um, so right in there, is sweet potato, which is, as you can tell, one of their uh, favorite treats that they're going right for. And then on the ground there are some goat pellets. It's another food that they get. Oh, <laughs> Flopsy, did the bag get stuck in your head over here? <laughs> so Flopsy was really making sure he got everything out of here. <laughs> So uh, this is a lot of the diet that they get. So hay, they get all, uh, they have access to all day. And that is because they are, <laughs> make sure they got to get every last drop out of there. Um, <laughs> uh, they get hay all throughout the day because they are ruminants, which means that they do have uh, four chambered stomachs. So that is similar to cows and sheep as well. And that means that they, they can eat a lot of food at once and then they're able to store it in one chamber of their stomach. And then they're able to regurgitate it and break it down even further. So uh, because of that, we do give them access to their hay all day long so that they are able, <laughs> so that they are able to eat it. And we thought that this was a great uh, live to have today because even though humans we usually eat our food you know at s meals throughout the day on Thanksgiving I think a lot of us uh, act like goats and eat for the entire day <laughs> even though we don't have four stomachs to help us digest all of that but we thought that they were a great animal to choose for our Thanksgiving theme because they do eat all throughout the day and they usually are very excited to come out and find their food <laughs> So we're out in their goat yard right now. So those of you that have visited the zoo have probably uh, in maybe last summer have been able to come in with some of these goats and be able to hang out with them. So that's the yard that we're in right now. And this is 
uh, usually a space where they'll get some special enrichment when they come out here um, and they have their big kind of play structure up here where they're able to jump around on <laughs> and even all of these uh, treats that we're giving them today the bags and the pumpkins this is all enrichment for them as well because this is kind of a special treat today the keepers will always give them some form of enrichment but today we went tried to go a little above and beyond to give them a thanksgiving theme <laughs> rachel have any questions come through about the goats Yes. So uh, as I was saying before, Leia is the mom. So the one that uh, is right in the camera right now, she is the uh, mom to um, a few of the goats here. So depending on who the dad is, the color of the mom and the color of the dad uh, will determine what the baby's coloring looks like. So as you can see, Chewbacca behind her um, is a very similar color. And then, oh, I think he might have gone inside her. Her other son, Foles, is in the um, area behind them, but I think he might have gone inside. He's a pretty similar color, too, just has a little bit more white to him. So goats come in a variety of different colors, and it's almost very similar to um, our pets at home, our cats and dogs. Um, because they are a domestic breed, they are ones that humans are breeding them um, so they can be a variety of different colors that can be bred and they can just be a whole bunch of different colors basically similar to how dogs and cats and different even reptiles can be all sorts of different colors depending on uh, which ones are uh, chose to be bred together oh emily that is a great question so we have eight all together here um so we have these four girls uh, i'm sorry oh my goodness i called flopsy a girl so uh these three girls and flopsy is one of our males um and then we have uh four other males that are separated from the females right now because they are breeding males oh another great question so these goats uh, can live anywhere from 12 to 18 years. Do you know if they're well, because they're because they're a domestic um, breed, there isn't really much on their uh, status in in their natural range. <laughs> really seem to be loving the goats. Yeah, and you can see Chewbacca's got the bag over there. <laughs> So they're making sure that they're getting everything. It looks like I see one piece of sweet potato left. That's all we got. <laughs> so sweet potato was definitely a favorite. And uh, Megan was telling us before we started that sweet potato a lot of times is used for their training. So even though the goats are thankfully ones that we can come in with, as you can see, um, we do still have a training program with our goats to be able to help with their care. So, <laughs> she's gotta make sure she's getting everything out of that bag. Um, so they, they do have a training program as well. And so they'll use some uh, sweet potato as their special treat for them uh, when they are doing their training. Hello, are you looking to see if I have something? <laughs> Oh, Jimmy, that is a great question about the pumpkins. So what we've heard from their keepers is that they don't necessarily love the pumpkin inside the pumpkins. But as you can see today, we gave them uh, some special treats inside the pumpkins, which I think that they're enjoying. But they don't seem to care about the eating the actual pumpkin. That's a really great question. But we do get uh, pumpkins, thankfully, we get pumpkins donated it around uh, Halloween time, and we're able to give that as enrichment to a lot of our animals. And some do eat the pumpkin, some just like to play with it. So some of our um, carnivores, for example, some of our cats, 
they won't eat the pumpkin, but they'll use it to scratch or uh, push around. So they'll use it for different reasons. But then we have ones, as some of you might know, our um, uh, Iggy uh, from Stone Zoo, our Gibbon, she loves to eat pumpkin. And so do the other Gibbons. So there's some animals that really enjoy eating the pumpkin too. Awesome. Did you like your Thanksgiving? <laughs> so as you can see, they went for all of the sweet stuff. We still got some, some hay left, which I'm sure they'll eat in a little bit. But they went for those, the sweet potato and the grain all over the ground. And then I'm sure in a little bit, they'll start eating some of the other things as well. <laughs> Loving the bag too. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us for our uh, goat Thanksgiving this morning. I think that they really appreciated it. <laughs> so if you are going to come to the zoo today, you might still be able to get to see some of their uh, enrichment out here. But I hope that uh, people are still able to come visit us during the holidays and hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye.